Hello everybody, boy, I have not made a YouTube video in a long time, I haven't made a YouTube video in like a year, I am so, so sorry for not making a YouTube video in like a year, I've just been so busy, um, like I've been going on so many trips, been seeing so many people and currently right now we are having a little bit of construction going on at our house right now so if you hear like uh construction machine noises and stuff uh just don't worry about it it's just a construction i can really help that so um without further ado let's get into this makeup tutorial i tried to do that transition but it's not good Okay, let's just get into this. So I'm just looking at a scrunchie here. And tying back my hair. Um, just like so. And the scrunchies are really good if you don't want a crease. Because like normal ponytail holders, they're tight. So they give a crease. Scrunchies are really good if you don't want a crease. And just kind of ties back your hair a little bald headed there but that's okay um so i have a few makeup products here that i'm gonna do so let's just get into this real quick okay so first thing i'm going to do is um i'm going to apply some chapstick here because we're gonna put on some lipstick um, after our makeup is done, if, if you don't put on lipstick without chapstick on, your lips are going to be chapped. It, it doesn't look good, <laughs> trust me. Um, so, let's just get into the makeup real quick. Alrighty, so um, first I'm using this concealer right here. It's the, if I can focus... It's the um, age instant age rewind, <laughs> um, and basically what it does is it like conceal like blemishes in your face, I guess. So I'm just putting that right on my eye. And once a person told me to make a triangle, and then make another triangle i'm putting a little bit right here kind of right here a little bit chin i don't actually know what i'm doing i kind of look like a tiger right now that will change so that would definitely change now i'm just taking a um beauty blender here again i just get this at um kroger um in the beauty section you can get this at walmart two um in other places etc um but i just get this like over now i'm just kind of dabbing it and really like what they call um bounce i think and then once i bounce and i kind of rub it just a teensy bit kind of i like to blend upwards because there was a triangle right there right under my waterline here but my nose a little bit there's a mirror right in front of me so I'm, if I'm looking um, right here there's just a mirror so I can kind of see it make sure I'm not too pale here but right under my water line here And if I look like just like really white in just some spots, that's okay because we're gonna be applying some foundation and so I won't look like that. I think that looks kind of pretty good. Let's, so I just used the L'Oreal Paris True Match uh, foundation here. Again, you can just get a 
focus. I'm trying to let this thing focus real quick, but it's not really doing so. So I'm just gonna tell you, it's the Laurel Paris um, True Match Foundation Makeup here. And there's no like pump or anything, you just kind of pour it. I actually am going to pour a little bit on my hand and then dab my beauty blender into my hand. That's a little bit too much. So I'll just kind of scoop some of that up there. All right. Now I'm just dabbing my beauty blender into my foundation. I'm kind of just bouncing around, making a few dots here and there. And then I'm just going to take a brush here, a foundation brush that is, and kind of just, not really blend it, just kind of get it out of little dots, basically. Kind of smooth it real good. And then um, I'm going to blend it with my beauty blender here. Make sure, if you like this video, make sure to subscribe and um, hit that bell to turn on notifications. If you do turn on notifications, it will um, notify you whenever I upload a new video. And I will be uploading a new video once a week. Um, I'm not doing it every day just because I'm so busy and there's so much construction. But... You know, you gotta do what you gotta do. Girls gotta do what they gotta do. Okay. So I'm just, I just like hit all those blemishes. Gotta make sure you had all those blemishes. And we're gonna kind of fix that with a little bit of powder. I've got this powder here. And I'm just taking... A powder brush. I'm just using this brush here. Looks like this. It's a big brush. And just dipping my brush into that powder. This is more of my natural skin color, so it'll look pretty good. A little bit tan there, actually. But, you know. Just applying that powder over that concealer and foundation just to kind of seal it all in a little bit it's i like to put powder on my eyes actually i don't know if i i don't know if you um use concealer on your eyes i i have been doing it but like i haven't at the same time it's kind of weird okay it's kind of weird i mean my camera just went out of control here so cool better better um so this is my face right now and now we're going to get into the eyeshadow um yeah so I am going to kind of contour a little bit. I have a contour palette right here. So I'm gonna contour, you know. Um, and I do have this, I don't, um, this roll on uh, face shimmer here. And um, basically, it helps you with contouring a little bit, and it helps you kind of highlight. Um, and I do have this that we're going to help highlight with. But back to eyes, okay? All right, so I'm just using this little dinky palette here called Maybelline New York. Uh, and it's just kind of a base coat. That's all it is, basically. <sighs> I'm using this palette today. But I haven't actually used this palette 
at all. Um, so we're gonna be using it today. And it actually has a little color code right here. I don't know if you guys can see that because it's not focusing again. <laughs> but um, it kind of tells you where the colors go, basically. So you're starting off with the um, just plain white as a base coat. I'm just using um, this brush right here. It is from Lancome. I don't know if it's Lancome or Lancome. Maybe it's Lancome, I don't know. But I'm just putting that all over my lid because once again, it says it on the back. Getting a little bit of that. Dusting it off. Don't want flyaways, I guess. Just kind of put that all over my lid. Because if there's like, like dark stuff, I guess. Oh my. Okay, guys. That just ruined my video, basically. Okay. We're back. Little, um, little fall there you guys had. Are you okay, guys? You know, sometimes mistakes happen in the YouTube business, and, uh, that was definitely a mistake. Just ignore that, please. <laughs> And dusting my brush off. Putting some on my lid here. I am hoping dearly that you guys don't fall again. And I'm putting it like right under my eye too. Just to kind of blend in that concealer here. Alrighty. We have our base coat going. Kind of just dusting them off, make a little clean them. Now we are going to be using the actual color palette here. So, um, you guys might be wondering, you see this color right here. This color, um, you might be wondering, that's like the same color as this color right here. Why do you need that? It's actually not. It's a little bit shimmery, more shimmery. So, um, that will come in handy, basically. Alrighty. So I'm just making sure that I like these colors here. I saw this because I'm that person who watches makeup tutorials before they do one on YouTube, make sure they're doing it right. I'm that person who does that. So I'm just swiping that on my hand. I don't know if you guys can see that, but um, making sure it's the color I want. It's perfect. I'm just taking a kind of smaller brush here. It's this brush right here. This is from Echo Tools. Looks like this. And this is the brush we're going to be using for our brows. Alright. Taking a little bit of that shimmering white. Dusting that off a bit. And putting that, I'm using a cheat sheet by the way. Putting that right under our eye just to give it like a little bit of a highlight here right under our eyebrow i mean just to give it like a high a little pop a highlight basically by the way i don't know if i already said this or not but make sure to subscribe and uh yeah i i i'm i'm hoping we get to a hundred subscribers also by the way um right now a very uh a big virus is going on in the world right now um i don't really want to say it on youtube just in case um so i want you guys to stay safe make sure to stay home wash your hands a lot and um uh wear a mask if you absolutely have to go out but Social distance, six feet. Keep your distance. Okay, I'm back. Um, and like if you're missing anybody, there's this, is this app 
that you can download on your computer, phone, um, iPad, called Zoom. Basically, you can just like video chat with your friends and it's so good. Um, it doesn't really hitch a lot, so that's good. Or glitch or anything. All right, time for our next color here. We're going to be using, let's see, let's see what I'm working with here. Oh, okay. So we're going to be using this kind of skinny brush, I guess, right here. Right there. Um, and we're going to be dipping into a little bit of this pink here. Again, just taking a little bit of that on my finger, swiping it on my hand, make sure that's the right color I want. And I think it is. And basically, all we're gonna do is we're gonna put that. Um, oh my gosh, I just dusted off on my eyeshadow. Right on the outer corner here. Yeah. So, let's move my hair out of the way. Right here, we're just going to be applying that pink and kind of blending and then not really blending but kind of like dabbing a little bit and we'll blend all later okay next eye kind of have to close my eye a little bit to get it precise kind of go in circles if you want it to look good. Perfect. Okay. Now, if, um, whenever I'm done with my eyeshadow, if it doesn't really show that much, and I really want to apply it on mascara, it will show. Trust me, girl. Trust me. So this one, I'm just going to be taking this kind of fluffy, actually, no. No, no, no. I'm taking let's see, this brush right here. It's a pretty good brush for the situation. Get on that edge a little bit. Can't bounce it off a bit. And we're going to be putting that right below where our one was, our shimmery white. So let me just look in the mirror here. Kind of right there we're gonna put that maybe a little bit more can't really see it that much well, i think i can see it that's that's good a little much but you know better better more than nothing i think the beauty vloggers say and um put that there okay last color black <laughs> um this color here it's it's gonna make everything pop wait a second hold on <laughs> well um I, i'm being a dummy today and i put the wrong color on the wrong spot so uh we're actually supposed to put this black where we put that gray-ish color, basically. Yeah. So, let's just put that black right there. Where it's supposed to go. It was kind of hard to do it. With your eyes open. One eye open, at least. That's a little bit better. Kind of right there. Ready? Now we're gonna take our um, our gray here, taking a fluffy brush, getting gray on there, and um, just putting that all over our lid, basically. So just all right there. This is four colors, which is like kind of a lot, but you know. 
better more than nothing. So now we're going to do our brows because we are done with our eyeshadow here. Um, there will be a little bit of fallout. So I just take kind of a little fluffy brush here. Just kind of swipe under that, swipe that fallout away. Alrighty. Perfect. We're looking golden. Mm -hmm. Alright, so an angled kind of angled brush here and um let's kind of add those first and we're gonna comb them up and do my bottom line and then comb them down do my top line and then comb them forward um to make it look good so let's comb them up Sometimes it helps to get a little bit of water on here. So what I do is I just like wet my eyebrow comb here and uh, kind of just put them in shape there. Lazy meter. Mm. Mm. Six feet. Lazy. That was... That was, that was cheesy. That was cringy. I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay. Moving on to, um, um, lashes and eyeliner and mascara. So, curl my lashes here. You leave this in for about, like, 10 to 20 seconds, I guess. Just curls your lashes. Kind of look like a robot almost. Beep bop boop beep. But, okay, we're good on that. You're actually good on That's good. Alrighty, time for eyeliner here. Alright, so I been trying to do a cat line for six months now and I do like my makeup like once a week and so like my cat line is horrible I mess up every single time so you know what let's just not do a cat line let's just do a normal eyeliner thingy my bobber ooh let's try a cat line I guess we're trying a cat line Ooh, that looks pretty good. Not really going up and a up. So now I have this little um spongy thing here, this little wedge uh, that I use to just kind of even out my eyeliner, kind of blend it a little bit. And it really helps like a lot. Okay. Done with eyeliner. Let's kind of comb our lashes with an eyelash comber here. Get any like eyeshadow off of that. Now I use the um, lash sensei from I think that's called Maybelline New York. Looks like this. Oh, what that is. Okay. It looks like this. And this is literally the most best mascara in the world, basically. So all you have to do is put a few layers on there. Okay, and like I said, This will make our eyeshadow pop. And if you're that type of girl who does not want much mascara, 
at all and you've been trying for so long but you you don't want much mascara and you get a lot of mascara um just against your little kind of lid thingy here just roll your brush around that will get the clumps off so but i like a lot of mascara i'm just saying um So, yeah, make sure to like this video too, because, um, if you like this video, um, it will be great. Let's try to get this video to a hundred likes. Because like some of my videos, you only have 15. So I'm setting a great goal, 100 likes. And um, let's get this to a bunch, oops. A bunch, a bunch, a bunch. Let's just kind of cover that up right there. Any mistakes that I make, I just cover it up with and seal it a little bit. And I am gonna be washing my hands after this because that's kind of gross if you don't wash your hands after you do your makeup. Alrighty. Now what I like to do is to get out any clumps in my mascara. I just go over it with my finger. All the clumps will come off on my finger. Like all the wetness and stuff. Or you could just let it dry. But I'm a lazy boy. But any like lashes that might have fell out, I'm just wiping those away with a brush here. Just like so. Moving on to um contouring. Again, I don't know what order I'm doing this in. Like I don't know if you're supposed to do contouring before your lashes or after. I feel like contouring is like a last minute thing to do, but you know, I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Alrighty. So before we contour, we're going to be using this Lumo Volation from Laura Paris. Um, and so you just kind of twist the cap off here and you score a little bit on your beauty blender. few squirts is all it takes like that's like way too much but you know you don't want to like blend it out fully and this kind of helps highlighting too i put around where i'm gonna contour and um yeah just to kind of help give it a little pop um and don't really, like I said, don't really blend it all the way. And it does take a little while to dry, but that's okay. Don't really blend it all the way because um, if you blend it all the way, it'll just not go anywhere. So just kind of blend it a little bit. Alrighty, let's take our contour palette. For uh, We're contouring our cheekbones right now. Just dab that off a bit. I don't really know if I'm doing that right. We're also gonna blend it out, so don't worry. It's not gonna have a big brown spot right there. All right, I'm gonna let that sit for a little bit. Now we're going to contour our nose, taking an angled brush, 
we're gonna dip it in a little bit lighter shade of brown oh my gosh my my contour palette just like this what color here it just completely just broke out whenever i just put one little dab my brush and i don't really know what to do in the contour i think you go something like that something like that and um blend it together with your fingers maybe i don't actually know now we're gonna dip a big brush into a little bit of that powder we used earlier and um kind of just kind of put that over our contouring a little bit and the blush will go over that too so that that will help a lot and then you just take our beauty blender here and kind of just kind of blend that a little bit blend our nose too Make sure we hide that, like so. Now we're just going to take a little bit more contour with a really fluffy brush right here. And just go around my face on my hairline, a little bit down here to make kind of my face look a little bit smaller. Just like so. And um, now... So we're gonna put a little bit more highlight. This is to help with contouring. It's, um, this is what I mentioned earlier. And just kind of very, very lightly roll it on. It only takes a little bit. Just kind of put it where you contoured a little bit. And, um, blend it out with either your beauty blender or a foundation brush. I'm gonna be using a foundation brush right here. Kind of just blending that out a little bit. Like so. Sorry if I'm looking in the mirror too much because it's really easy to look in the mirror here. Alrighty, we are literally almost done. All we have to do now is our, brush, or is our um, blush here and our lipstick, of course. Can't forget your lipstick. Kind of just swiping the brush off. Dip this into this really, um, like it's kind of not really a cool blush. It's kind of a hot blush. I'm just putting now right here. I'm putting it on my nose, maybe. Forehead, maybe. Okay. Okay. Let's just comb our lashes again real quick. Comb our eyebrows again real quick. Finally. Last. Definitely not least, though. Our lip gloss here. Lipstick. This is actually lip polish. But I don't have any actual lipstick. So we're just using my lip polish here. Just put a little bit right there. A bit up here. I kind of went for my cheek there. I don't know why. Okay. This might be a little bit oversized makeup here, but overall, I think we did a pretty good job. Let's just take out this mane here. And my hair is so sensitive to creases that anything will give it a crease. So there's a little bit of a crease here. That's okay. Kind of. So this is our final look here. Final, final look. It's here. I hope you guys like and so hit that subscribe button. Um, below this video, if there's a red subscribe button, click it and make it gray. Gray, gray's the way. Gray is the way. 
Again, this might be a little oversized here. You could use this for like a fancy dinner night. Um, maybe I'll do another makeup tutorial of just like a simple, super duper simple makeup, like maybe everyday makeup. Um, until next time, I'll see you guys later. Hit that like button, comment down below if you like this video. Again, I'm kind of still exploring what you guys like and whatever you don't like, I'm not gonna do. Whatever you do like, I'm gonna do a little bit more.